Hey y'all, uh, Hazel here. Welcome back to another video. Well, actually, technically, this is the first video I ever made on this channel, so uh, not the, not another video, um, a video. But uh, yeah, this is gonna be my first uh, Minecraft video that I've made um, since like I was like 14 and had this awful channel where I posted um, mod showcases and <laughs> I kept getting comments asking if I was like a 13 year old boy or not. So that was really cool. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna create wood and yeah, you know, make tools. Uh, <laughs> this is gonna be a series, which is gonna be basically a modded survival. Um, I have a lot of mods, but this is the twist here. Cause I know, you know, everyone's done modded survival. The little twist I've done is we're actually playing on 1.6.4, which was released, um, I'd say, seven years ago yes yeah, seven years ago I think it was like the summer of 2013 and I remember playing this uh version when I came out and I remember all the mods and so I decided it'd be cool to um do a mod of survival based on this old version and um I got to try I, I found a bunch of mods that I used to use when I was like little and like that I really liked and since, you know, you know, kids are really dumb, I never really went in depth with any of these mods. This will kind of be me kind of discovering, like, the, the usefulness of some of the items that I just used to mess around with in creative in survival. Uh, I'm really excited because there's, like, so many differences between this version and uh, old versions I used to play. It's kind of crazy. Like, I, I joined up on this world, and the first thing I tried to do... I was like, yo, can I bind my sprint button? And yeah, no, you can't do that. You have to press W tap. You have to double tap W. And it's throwing me off so much. Like, I cannot, I cannot do it. I am lost. I am emotionally, I'm emotionally scarred from the fact that I cannot, like, hold my R key, which is what I usually do to sprint. It is just, it is stressful. I don't like it. I hate it. It's, it's very concerning. But yeah, um... I can't wait to, like, discover mods and build, and I want to, like, you know, get better at, like, doing videos and stuff, so I'm, I am very excited to do this, since this really is, like, my first, um, first, like, foray into doing Minecraft videos in, like, a really long time. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, I want to get, like, a lot of wood, for sure, to start off. I have a mod called Tree Capitator, which is kind of cheaty, but it's, like, whatever, it's nice. Like chopping trees is overrated. We we um we just chop one log here. Like, you know. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay. That was pretty easy. Okay, so these butterflies, I've already had a pretty nasty encounter with them. Um they pretty much what they do is they will poison you. Um they'll basically poison you when they uh get near you. So we don't like them. We're not friends with them. They're not the homies. Oh no. Okay, so I don't know what the heck this brick building is. It looks a little funky. Oh, a swamp. Okay. Oh, God. I feel so bad. I'm sorry, sheep. Can I make a bed out of multiple colors in this version? I feel like I can. I'm going to just kill whatever I want here because this is not where I'm going to live. I think I'm going to move to, like, um, what the heck is in the water? <laughs> I think I'm going to go, like, far. Maybe on a boat and find a different place to live. Oh yeah, one thing that's crazy in this version is this is like the old world generator before 1.7. So, uh, there's actually like these big ass oceans, like, they're huge. Like, if I look at my mini map, I guess I can't really see anything, but they're, the oceans are just giant. Like, take my word for it. Yeah, this will be a huge learning experience for me. I haven't really done, like, um, you know, like an actual, like, live commentary YouTube video in like a really long time. Because, like, uh, on my other channel, I pretty much did, like, montages and stuff. So this is, like pretty new for me like I obviously do live streams um but it's very different to um be doing a video like this but it, it is cool it is cool I'm very excited to see where we can go with the series but yeah if there's any other like um kind of series you'd like me to do then please let me know in the comments because I would love to um do other series as well but this should be really interesting because I want to see how like um modern minecraft strategies like come into like a world like this where it's like very old and like a lot of the the, the, the just changes haven't been done yet like a lot of the quality of life changes i think that what i wanted to hear is let me collect more shuriken 
Oh. Well, that looks interesting. Oh, God. No. Wait, I saw a ton of loot there. This is so sketch. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Okay, we got this, we got this, we got this. Okay, we're chilling. Everything is fine. Oh, wow, okay, that's actually... That's iron. Okay. Oh, jeez. That feels horrible. That felt absolutely awful. I'm gonna be honest. That was just the worst thing ever. Okay. Alright, so one of the things that uh, I want to get done on the first day before night happens is... Well, I want to get a bed. I think I can just sleep the night away. <clears throat> if I'm smart about it. I think that's how... It still works like that in this version. Oh, no. There's a Naga over there. I had to fight one of those off-screen. Um, he was scary, and he did, like, half my heart in one hit. I mean, half my health in one hit, so that was really scary. Uh, I'm not really down for that, so I think I'm gonna just run this way. But I do want to get lily pads, because uh, when I make uh, a farm, I always like to have a ton of lily pads for shuriken. So I'm gonna collect a few of those. Yeah, so there we go. Okay, so this is... We're back at this sketchy building, which I don't really want to mess with. I think I'm going to go the other way. Well, actually, first I think I'm going to sleep. Before we get, um, you know, inundated by monsters. I don't think that would be too fun. Okay. I want to find a good place to live that isn't... Um, doesn't have too many scary things in there. I think this forest will probably be the perfect place to set up. But I think there... I think, from what I remember, there's... Yeah, there's a giant-ass building there. So maybe not in that forest. But we, we'll, we'll keep going this way. See if we can find a good place to... Um, to live. Alright, that guy got shit on. No troll. Wait, there's an extreme hills biome. Literally the best biome, in my opinion. Especially since this is, like, an older version, right? This biome doesn't even exist in normal Minecraft anymore. Like, you, you might say, oh yeah, but there's the hills. But, let's be real. These are so much better than the than the new Minecraft hills. The new Minecraft hills are so boring. Like, I don't get it. Like, I feel like Mojang, like, a lot of the new biomes they added, like, don't have the same charm as, like, the old ones. And I don't mean that in, like, a bad way, necessarily. I do, but it's not, like, their fault. But I feel like the old biomes, like the extreme hills and stuff, they were so much more unique and they really left an impression on you. But I feel like that like that kind of stuff doesn't exist in the same way today, which is a little disappointing. Like I just like the um like the Savannah Plateau, which is, you know, crazy, and there's like the um like the ice spikes and stuff, which is really unique. But I feel like a lot of the um I feel like a lot of the uh, content isn't as like, a lot of the biomes. Oh, that's just an empty chest. All right, thanks, bro. Really appreciate that one. But yeah, I feel like a lot of the content isn't as interesting as it could be, if that makes sense. Like, I feel like the old biomes were so much more... Especially in beta. Beta Minecraft had the best world generation out of any Minecraft. Like, imagine if we had, like, beta with, like, modern biomes with, like, some slight changes, like, maybe some greener grass. Like... I loved that. Like, that was, like, peak Minecraft. Like, just those biomes. I played, a, I played a little bit of beta a little while ago, too. It was really it was really different, but I found it hard because I didn't really know what to do. I kept dying and getting lost and stuff, but it was very peaceful, which is cool. Okay, so I think to start... I gotta look sketch. I don't want to, like, get in any beef with that guy. So I think... To start the house, I'm going to make a shovel. And I think we can just do something basic here. Uh, probably like a... Um, I just want to clear out some area for what we can do with the base. I think that we can have like a like a small house to start with. And I think we can expand upon it. Maybe go underground. Could be cool. So yeah, I'm just going to clear out some land really quick. Oh god. What's up, dude? Oh, he slows me. Uh, 
Okay, that was not too bad. I got a lot of leather and feathers from him. I think that for the house, I'm just thinking very basic, like a very basic house. So I think I'm just gonna get wood and we're gonna do like a a really basic house. So I'm gonna go boop, boop. Okay, it's small, but it will it'll pretty much do the job. Don't throw your knives at me. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I think that whole... I think this is a decent height size house for, like, early on. We'll definitely have to upgrade in the future, but for now, it looks good. Oh, I should sleep. Holy crap. I keep forgetting. Because there are a lot of new uh, monsters in this uh, in this mod pack that could really fuck me up. So I'm going to sleep. Uh, I have a mod called Grimoire of Gaia. And if you've never heard of it, pretty much what it does is it adds a ton of new, like, really hard monsters. And, like, the weakest version of these monsters has, like, 40 health, which is insane. That's like strong, that's like double the health of any like normal Minecraft monster. And they're like really like, they're really cool monsters. So like, it's cool. So there's like, there's like different mythological monsters and they're like, there's like a bunch of like monster girls, which is um cool. And yeah, so we got to watch out, especially at night. Cause there's like, um, there's like a minotaur, which has like 160 health and like completely shits on you, you know, like the, the stuff that you want to see. For sure. Okay, so we definitely need cobblestone. So I'm gonna make myself a. I think I'm gonna save my iron actually. I think I'm just gonna use a normal stone pick. I think I'm gonna do a cobblestone floor. And then we'll do like a. Hmm. Probably like a wood. We'll probably do wood for the walls. I think that will make the most sense. Alright, I should probably just get a cobblestone, but I also wanna see if I can find any ores. This is a little bit sketchy, but I. I hopefully I don't get murdered. Like, it's above, like, um, I, mean, I don't think that changes anything, so I just hope I don't see any monsters or, like, there's, like, these crazy, um, dangerous, like, cave, um, like, there's, like, spawners in the cave that spawn, like, arrows that, like, shoot at you, and there's, like, potion spawners that instantly kill you, and, like, bombs and stuff with this one mod that we have. It's pretty terrifying, like, I, I do not like it. It's scary. Uh, I actually had to remove a mod called Infernal Mobs because of how broken it was. Like, I would be, I would just be like, you know, okay, I can manage this dungeon. This dungeon, it's hard, but I, I can deal with this. I can kill the mobs. And then, boom, some guy with 500 health that can strike lightning on me and curse my seven children just comes out of the blue and just one-shots me. It's just like, oh, okay, well, that's really cool. And then... They probably destroyed my stuff too, so yeah, okay, I might as well not even go back. So that happened to me probably like 10 times, and I was like, okay, this mod's ridiculous, and then I turned it off. So, no more of that, hopefully. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of really cool mobs, mods. Well, one of the ones that I'm really excited for, actually, uh, is called Better Dungeons, and basically, uh, what it does is um, it adds like these giant structures that have like a bunch of like RPG monsters in them that have like like factions and like um different like races and like there's like a bunch of different like uh bosses and stuff that you can fight and it's really really cool and I haven't really they the only version out for 1.7 which is the mod version I mainly played as a kid uh was actually like not that good compared to the oh that's what I'm talking about that's a potion spawner
Okay, well, it just gave me a lot of- Okay, Jesus Christ, why? Why? Why are you doing like this? Oh god. Got him, okay, nice. Oh no, okay, alright. Uh, yeah, I think it's time for us to uh, get the hell out of here. I could deal with a normal one, but a cave spider, that's just like not it, chief. Like, I'm, I'll pass. Not the Iron Man. Come on, bruh. <gasps> what the hell? What the hell? Alright, well, that's a great way to deal with that. Okay. Well, I guess I gotta run a while. he's gone which is nice or is that him oh jeez oh no oh no that guy's scary as shit oh my god wait a free chest no way okay we just gotta run we gotta get out of here and we can have a happy life I'm actually not gonna risk it. That guy is really dangerous, by the way. <laughs> uh, that little white Enderman guy. Yeah, I don't want to mess with him. He's not really like the. He's not really a top fellow. Not really the home. Okay. I still have my cooked pork chops. So I'm gonna have those. So many chickens around here. Okay, so I'm just gonna fill this up with stone. This is gonna be our floor for our house. Okay, nice. So we got iron sword, I have a lot of iron to smell, and we got some coal so I can put the furnace down. Nice. Okay. So yeah, now I think the next thing to do is just get a little more stone. Or I should probably wait till I have my, um, my stuff cooking, actually. It's kind of funny, one of the things I'm most sad about in this update, actually, is, um, one of my favorite things to do in Minecraft is to fish for loot. Like, um, what's it called? Like, I love to fish for, like enchanted books and like enchanted items and like a lot of mods that I like really add like a lot of stuff to fishing but in this update actually the there was no fishing like um there was only fish from fishing so I can't do any of that and it's really sad um I'm very I'm very sad about it honestly distraught but it's okay I'll I'll, I'll um I'll learn to forget you know I'll I'll recover Okay, now we can finish these little beams. I think that's what they're called. Or it's like support, I'm not sure. Oh god, it's a zombie. Okay, so I think that we can get some wood. Alright, this is actually taking shape. Go ahead, chicken. I'm sorry, but don't invade my personal privacy. This chicken, like, wants to live with me or something, I'm convinced. Ooh, that's from the creeper mod. It's a pumpkin creeper. It seems a little ridiculous, right? But it's actually a really cool mod that adds, like, a ton of interesting stuff. Like, there's, like, like a pumpkin golem. Which is like extremely strong, has like over 100 health, and like runs really fast and like strikes you with lightning. He's like crazy. He drops like really good stuff. There's like a whole like soul armor, uh, not armor set, but like item set, like tool set, that has like a bunch of different abilities. It's really cool. Hopefully, we can like get some of that stuff. And there's like a whole ore and stuff. It's really cool. Alright, so we got the basic uh, layout of the house. I think I need to get a little more wood though. I think that's a big tree. I'll risk fighting this, um, pumpkin creeper. 
got his ass. Okay. I love this mod. Everything about this mod is just perfection. Like, it's beautiful. That should have probably taken me like five minutes to mine down, but I just did it in one. And I got everything. So it decays and I can get the rest of the tree. Alright, so I think for the house, I think I'm probably going to do it one more high because it would be a little lame if the house was like, um, too high and I couldn't jump inside. Because I'm planning on doing the roof. Okay, so I'll do this. Make our, oh my god. That's one of the pumpkin monsters. I am going to pass on that one. Uh, thank you very much, sir. All right, let's get some of these trees. For some reason in this version, I'm pretty sure, like, if you look at this, like, I think this breaks the leaves faster. I don't know if it's just placebo and I'm an idiot, but I really think that it breaks um leaves faster. But yeah, so we're going to make a... Probably going to get some saplings and make a little tree um orchard right next to our house, too. Rotten flesh. I'm actually a head ass. Okay, here we go. Alright, so here's our humble abode. Torches. We got 24 of them. Jeez, this house is super basic right now. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to start upgrading this. Um, Because this is unacceptable. <laughs> like it's just like so basic like it reminds me of like when I first started playing the game but don't worry we'll, we'll make it like we'll make it super fancy in the coming episodes because I want to have like a really nice house where we can like you know explore our creativity but it's probably going to take a while to um get that done and I kind of want to just shelter I kind of just have some shelter for the beginning so yeah, I think once I get a door... Okay, the first fancy thing I'm going to do, since we are on hard mode, is I'm actually going to start setting up a an iron door. Because I'm actually like not super into the idea of getting ambushed by zombies. Especially since like I might like accidentally leave the world on once. And like, yeah, I'm just not super into the idea of, of dying. So, okay, we have a pressure plate for the inside. And then let me make sure this is like cobblestone. Oh, got stuck in it for some reason. Okay, so then what we can do is we can just do the. Hold up. Okay. Let me get the leather. I don't even know how to craft a leather. I don't think I've really made one. I just said leather. Please ignore that. I think it's this though. There we go. Okay. Okay, let me just like fix this awful the leather on the outside I keep calling it a leather and I hate it oh I should not use a leather I should use a button shouldn't I crap okay yeah I'm forgive me I'm uneducated oh god okay yeah we definitely need to get coal Coal is of utmost um, importance, I think, right now. So let me see if I can... Usually in Extreme Hills, there's, like, coal on, the, like, the side of the mountain. So I can probably get some that way, but... Oh! Well, that works. That works very well. Please tell me there's stone buttons. Okay, there is. I don't know what's in this version. I don't even know if they're in there. Okay, there we go. I think, honestly, the next thing we need to do is make a farm. Hmm. Okay. In that case... I feel like we should make a... Oh, I have three buckets already? What the heck? I don't even know where I got those from. I think it was from that weird dungeon thing we found in the swamp earlier. Okay. We'll definitely have to pillage this shit. Like, wow. That is crazy looking. Alright, so we got our water buckets for our... We can use an infinite water source. That'll be cool. And then we can basically... Hmm, I don't know. Maybe we could add, like, a... For farms, I think I want to start with, like, a shuricane farm. And, like, a wheat farm. That'll probably work out pretty well. 
I'll probably put the wheat farm over here, and then I'll have the shuriken farm behind the house. Hmm, that, that, this is such a weird, like, little spot. Okay, maybe over here. But anyway, we can start our farm. It'll probably take a while for it to be where I want it to be, to be honest. Alright, so that's all the show can we have for now. I think the farm looks pretty good though. Let's start cleaning up the area. Well, not the area. I just want to clean this up. So we got our we got our house. Like it doesn't look terrible. Uh it's very basic. There's not much around it. Um we got our we got our little farm. Yeah, this area kind of looks like crap, I'll be honest. Like it's good, but like It'll look better. I gotta clear out that thing, whatever the heck it is. You know, get rid of it. Probably add some more, you know, vegetation. Hope for the farms, like, make it look a little more interesting. See, this has been the first episode of the, um, the modded series. Um, if you've liked it so far, uh, please drop a sub. This is my first video, so I'm pretty nervous uploading this. Like, I'm trying to, like, you know, figure out my niche in terms of, like, where the channel will go. Like, uh, I appreciate any subs, likes, feedback, um... Any recommendations what I could do with the house? Stuff like that. All that is really appreciated. Um, so yeah, um, I'll see you guys in the next video most likely. Or you can check out my socials in the description and check out my Twitter and my Twitch. I stream every day and I feel like you guys would enjoy it. <laughs> Alright, bye!